One of the things I've discovered over the years is that success is something that can be taught. With our student population, a lot of our students have never experienced success academically before. So you give them a project that they can do. You make sure that they succeed. My name's CJ. I am the technology coordinator at the Phoenix School in Roseburg, Oregon. The Phoenix School is a charter school. Our population is mainly the students that aren't making it academically in other schools. This is the technology lab. This room is 100% mathematics. Everything we do in here is either math or chemistry. They'll come down here after being in a math class and geometry is just making them pull their hair out. Wait a second, why is geometry bothering you? You're doing geometry in this CAD drawing. This is where math becomes real and applicable. It's not just some formula on a board that you have to memorize. It's what makes math real and important. I started looking for 3D printers and all there were were these little tiny ones on the market and that was useless. I probably went to five or six workshops on 3D printing and they would have these tiny little things there. And in the last one I went to, I said, okay, other than baby spoons and chess pieces, what can you make with this? I said, I need a 3D printer. As luck would have it, that weekend I ran across the Gigabot and I went to my boss and I said, we need this. One of the things that we wanted the 3D printer for was robotics. In high school, they try and sell you these little kits. There's nothing to imagine. You put the kit together and you end up with the robot that you bought the kit for. I don't want to do that. With the Gigabot, we can print the arms, we can print the gears. Everything we need, we can print. It opens the door to custom-built robotics. So we can design a robot to do whatever we want the robot to do. Dog tag, luggage tag. It's the first 3D printed project my students do. Most of the skills that they will need to use the CAD program for are wrapped up in this dog tag. You've got to start somewhere. So I give them a project that they will be successful on. That's what keeps this job fun and exciting. Showing up here every day and you work with students, by the time they've been in the program for a year or so, then they start asking the real important two questions, why not and what if? And that's the beauty of the 3D printer, that statement, why not? I think 3D printing is only limited by our imagination at this point. 